So this is my 2015 Cedar Spark, and I decided to do the typical sound system that everybody's doing in them. The kicker, Bluetooth amp with the kicker speakers, and I figured I'd make my own video because the one before that that I saw online was really unclear. So I figured I'd make my own and go through some of the stuff for you guys so you understand it a little better. Um, this is what I'm doing so far, and this is how far I got. I got the top off, and this is my hookup for the amp to get the power. And basically, I just used wire loom or whatever that stuff is. Went through to the factory harness, went around over here to the top, zip tied it. I grounded to one of the motor straps, so hopefully that's a good ground. I'm going to have to check that. And then the positive wire, I got it running right here. Just took that nut off and ground it. And of course, I got everything with anti-corrosion and shrink wrap on there. Um, so far, it's been pretty straightforward. I didn't want to put the wires on the battery terminals because when you're taking it off, when you're taking the battery terminals off, um, it's a lot easier to just have them clear without any other extra stuff on there. Uh, yeah, I've seen guys put it on here, which here in Illinois we winterize them. So we have the battery terminals disconnected, sitting on a trickle charger. But I think the best uh, scenario, if you're not removing your battery, would probably be straight to the battery. But who knows? Anyhow, so I got that wired up. And then the amp, I'm mounting right at the front over here um, because these screws are a tiny bit longer than the plastic, how thick the plastic is. So I got it mounted on some silicone and the screws. Silicone is just precaution. And then what I did was I put the electric grease in there in each individual terminal so that that doesn't corrode hopefully that'll be good and somewhat watertight um, as you can see the screws they did pop through a little bit but it's underneath the whatever this thing is the storage compartment so not worried too much about it because you can't see it there and then so I got the switch mounted in the storage bin here I dremeled the crap out of it. And then the controller I dremeled out right in the exoskeleton. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. I'll get a better, better video of that or a picture of that or whatever. So I'm running my wires straight through here through the factory hole for this harness and I'm gonna do this harness zip tie it to this harness when I'm disconnecting it to take off the body I could disconnect the other wires easily but as far as this stuff goes so the switch that I put in that's just gonna interrupt the remote wire which is believe this one ignition input so this is basically a remote wire on any other amp as far as uh, turning on your amplifier but the main power is going to be the fused wire and the ground so since the switch has an LED in it I have to run an extra ground just so I could ground that LED in the switch but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. These two wires are going to be straight to the battery with the harness. And these three wires are just going to be for the ignition wire. So don't get it confused with the actual remote out wire, which this would turn on another amp 
or whatever you have for 12 volts to turn on as far as uh, when the amp is on. So technically if you have, let's say you want to do two amps like this in here and you want to do four speakers or whatnot, besides the fact that they make an amp with a four channel like this, um, you can technically take this power out and connect it to your ignition input on the other amp and that'll turn it on as long as you have the power wires connected but not to confuse anybody I'm just gonna keep going and we'll do some more updates here as I'm going so let me solder some of the stuff up so of course I run out of uh, shrink wrap and I ran out of uh, butane for my butane soldering torch and the soldering iron that I have is shot so crimping this is gonna have to do it with some electrical tape for now I mean we'll see how it goes could always do redo this but since this will be accessible somewhat um, yeah so I'm gonna crimp this up and of course I'm gonna use some grease in there so it doesn't corrode and I'll probably tape it. Alright, so I got everything covered up, taped up, got the fuse right here, then here's this is going to be the power supply. I got the grease all over it, but connected to this, so when you unplug that, you unplug those at the same time. And then, now I got to tackle all of this speaker wire and the fun part of cutting holes into my jet ski yep all right let's get that done holy shit i can't believe i just did that that took some uh shaky shakiness out of my hands right now that i'm done with this one now as long as i get the other one right um this one mounts up just right i gotta vacuum this crap out now my hands were shaking when I was trying to drill this freaking hole. Like, yeah, one chance. <laughs> so, all right, now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put silicone on the back of the speaker here. And then I'm just gonna basically self tap these in through the speaker and the grill at the same time. So I'm keeping everything together straight because I want that little kicker emblem sign to be facing down if it's not going to be or actually facing up I should say if it's not going to be it's going to be pissing me off so yeah all right now I got everything vacuumed up that looks a lot better so you can see what what's going on here so the speaker is going to fit just like that I just gotta get the silicone on it, and then this is gonna go on top. And that's gonna look pretty damn good. So, I got everything vacuumed up almost, courtesy of my Milwaukee vacuum. Yeah, Milwaukee. I have a problem, don't judge me, everything's Milwaukee. Shit has to match, has to be all red, as far as tools go. So, alright. Continuing, so I got a nice bead of silicone on there, just kind of flat as far as the bead goes. Um, the seal in here should be sufficient enough to seal, but the reason I put the silicone on, because the screws are kind of just going into plastic, and it's going to be bouncing around pretty, like, a lot in here. So that's why I wire loomed everything, because so the wires don't rub through. And then at the same time, uh, you know, plastic is going to bounce itself out with those teeny screws in there. I don't want it to strip out and the speaker just randomly go loose. So that's why I did the silicone. And now we're going to put it in. Okay, so I got the other hole drilled. Got that speaker mounted. Got this hole drilled. Hold on, the camera's dirty. So this is where I mounted the controller. And the switch is in here. Um, that sticker, that was a void sticker, and that was a 
half a pain in the ass to take off. I just used some brake cleaner and it came off. But it still sucked. So let me mount the other speaker. Alright, so I got everything tied it up. <laughs> so I just used zip ties to hold all the wires to the amp. The amp screw down. And uh, now we're going to put the top on and test the fire. So I made a couple of mistakes. So apparently this does not have voltage to it when it's not started. So I got to move this from here to here. The other thing is that clamp mount that I wired the ground to, not a good ground. So now I'm going to have to find another ground. And then another thing is... I'm having some clearance issues because apparently the amp sits right over this part. So I'm going to see if I can take those connection enclosures off and that'll clear because that's what it seems like just that much off. So let me do that real quick. Yeah, I'm already recording. <laughs> Welcome to the daily fuckery at my house. I got it's a flip flop and sock type of day today for me. And uh, so I left off on the video where I was installing the speakers, and basically we got kind of sidetracked with a bunch of stuff. And then I went back and installed it later and finished up. And we've been, huh? Oh yeah, we broke the jet ski too. Uh, we had a little fuel leak. I got some water in here because we just got them out of the water not too long ago. But with our daily grind, we've been working on our house nonstop. As you can see, all of our appliances and stuff are here and we're just, that's, yeah, so no time to do anything. But, so here's a recap. Basically, uh, I ended up ground or er, going right to the battery for the power source because that was just a whole screw up situation. I still did the same connector so you could disconnect it on the other side when you take the access panel off. Um, so we had the jet skis out three times now and I have been beating it beyond belief to the point where I snapped a fuel line and yeah, it was just, it was, it was getting taken through its paces. But, the speakers, you okay? Maybe you shouldn't stand on the trailer while I'm moving around on it. We're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Move it around a little. Shake. Uh, so the speakers are in there awesome. They haven't budged. They're nice and tight. Uh, the whole, really? <laughs> I guess what she said comment on a, okay. Anyhow, <laughs> we've been, uh, so we've been really testing it. The hole really acts as an enclosure, and the bass, actually, you can feel it fairly well for these two little speakers. It's been great. And, I mean, we're able to listen to music together while cruising around. And we've been on Lake Michigan. We've been in Lake Geneva. Um, I have launched it what, 10 feet in there, off of uh, a giant boat wave, mm -hmm. about, scared the crap out of me too, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, so yeah, I mean, it all works great, and I had to move amp, move around the amp a little bit to make it, make sure that it fits in there, uh, everything's working perfect, so here it is, now you get to see the actual uh, sound quality, I don't know how well it's going to be in the garage, but whatever, it gets loud. It definitely gets loud. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I played, I pressed play. <laughs> And it's awesome. And all you gotta do is when you're done, uh, switch, done, and it's off. Easy enough to do. I think most of you guys could probably do this. And uh, 
we'll have more projects for everything actually coming up. Uh, we're probably going to do the graphics on this. We are most likely going to do a Jeep with some light bars for my daughter. Um, it's it's gonna be like a little 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 one, you know, like the Power Wheels one. Yeah, I'm not buying you a Jeep. Anyhow, <laughs> I'll buy your Jeep eventually, eventually. But as you can see, constantly something going on. There's constantly gonna be videos. We're gonna be uploading a lot, most likely. Um, yeah, that's my Harbor Freight welder. Yeah. And we'll see where it goes. So subscribe and comment. What else? What else do YouTubers say? I don't even know. Like. Oh, yeah. Like. That'll probably work. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. There you go. Good day.